My name is Anthony Brown. I'm from Dayton, Ohio. Well, life growing up in Dayton, Ohio, it, it, it was, it was, I had a normal childhood. I, I had three brothers, two sisters, there were six of us. And uh, we, we, uh, we, uh, we had to do, it was kind of hard. It was kind of hard for six, six children. I started drinking when I first got married. Uh, uh, I was about 20 years old, and uh, I went from drinking to uh, experimenting with drugs, uh, pills, and uh, codeine cough syrup. And, and I went from codeine cough syrup to smoking marijuana. And, from marijuana to mixing cocaine with my marijuana, and from from that to uh, smoking crack cocaine. So, um, in all of doing this, I was uh, sometimes I was employed, sometimes I wasn't. I uh, I went from uh, drinking to drugs. Uh, I, I, had, I had an alcohol habit and a, and a drug habit, so I was uh, I was just really kind of messed up right, right, right about that time. I, I, uh, I lost my job uh, from uh, using drugs, and, uh, and I got another job, and I couldn't, you, keep, you can't keep no job when you're on drugs. A person just can't. If, if you're a person that's on, if you're an alcoholic or you're a drug addict, you just cannot, you won't be able to maintain a, a job. And, I, and I, I learned the hard way. And uh, when I wasn't working, I, uh, I wanted to support my habits, so I started, uh, I started doing things uh, to, to support my habit that uh, were against, was against the law. And uh, I found myself going to, in and out of the jail houses, and uh, I was hurting people. And I had I left a, a real, I left a, a, a bad trail. This is like a like a, a, a tornado tearing up a lot of stuff. And when you look back at all this damage, I left a lot of damage in my life. I hurt a lot of people, and I hurt myself a lot. I, I went through a lot of pain. And uh, I, uh, I think about that all the time. I think about how I, I, was, I, I wanted to stop, but I couldn't. I would go, I would go to church and join church, and uh, I was in and out of church. And, uh, but I just, I really didn't really surrender like I should have, like, I, like a person. I was wondering how people were going to church and staying in church and living good, but I couldn't. I couldn't. And uh, when I went went from uh, from uh, smoking marijuana uh, to uh, smoking crack cocaine, it was that was uh, that was the worst part of my life. I really I started doing things that I I lost a lot of uh, self respect and. Uh, self-esteem was real low and I just really, I, I, uh, I just felt real bad about myself. I didn't have no, I just didn't, I just felt, I just didn't, I just didn't felt like I just belonged. I, I almost gave up on life really and truly. I, I just, I wanted help and I would cry out to God, help me Lord. Hell, I had sense enough to do that. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. I would pray. Even sometimes when I was in the, in the, in my addiction, I would pray and ask God to help me. Help me, Lord. Lord God, help me. And I, I, He heard me. I know He heard me. He heard me. I would pray and continue to pray 
and still I will even I even even while I pray I would still go and do wrong, but I will still pray. And he heard me. He heard me. And I called my son. I said, man, I said I need some help. I said I need some help. And uh, he told me he said he would come and get me. He said, he said, all right, Dad. He said, I'm gonna come get you. He said, I'm gonna come like a thief in the night. I said, okay, come on. So I really didn't think he was gonna come. I didn't think he was gonna come because I, I, I didn't think he believed me because of the way I was living. But I still continued to use, even after I talked to my son. And he showed up. He showed up while I was using. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, he did. He came up like a thief in the night. He did. I, I came outside and there he was. And, 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 and I was, I was active, actively using at that particular time, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I felt, I was numb. I said, my God. I didn't know what to say, and uh, him and his brother, both his brothers were with him, and they said, get your clothes. And I did. I knew that this was either I had, I had, a, I had a decision to make. Either I was going to get my clothes and leave, or I was just going to say, y'all go ahead. And that was my way out. This was my way out. Now that, I, you know what, it was a, at that particular time, that blew my mind, man. I, I, I had to make a decision. It was right then and there. I had to either get my clothes, go with them, but you know what, I, I knew that God was in this because I had been praying and asking him to help me. I had been praying to him, asking him to help me. You know, he'll hear you. Even if you are in sin, if you, if the Lord, he, he judged my heart. He knew that I was sincere. And I was sincere, I needed help. Lord, I don't want to continue to live like this. Help me, Lord, help me. And he heard me. And he said, my son, and I got my clothes. And I came down here to North Carolina, Jacksonville. Left I left everything. I left my house, the furniture and everything. My wife, she was still using and, you know, but she's saved now, she's down here with me. And I thank God for, I thank God for his mercy and hearing me and answering me. It's, it's a miracle. I'm a miracle. I'm a miracle. I should have been dead. It's a lot of things that I have done to get high. It's a lot of things I've done that, I, you know, I'm not going to tell everything, but it's a lot of things that I've done to get high, and I should have been dead, gone. But the Lord had mercy on me, and he saved me, and I've been clean to this, this coming uh, April the 4th. Hey, Amen. I've been saved four years, four years, four years. I, I remember when I first came down here, I would, uh, I would rejoice by just getting uh, 30 days. Then I said, oh man, I got 30 days. Then I said, oh man, I got a, a 60 day. But I, four years, four years, April the 4th. Praise the Lord. And I just, we, we overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimonies. And if anybody ever hears my testimony, I hope that they can. Uh, oh, I hope that they can relate and overcome like I like I did. I surrendered wholly to Jesus. I said, Lord, I just thank you for giving me a chance. In my at my age, I thank you for giving me another chance, and He did. He did.